Hi, Chun Sek from Jaipa Technologies here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about printer security. Do you know that printer is the most vulnerable device within your network? And printer is always targeted by hackers. How do you know your Zebra printer is securely configured? There's an easy way to find out. I'm going to show you how. Let's take a look. There's an easy way to perform a security assessment on your Zebra printer. First of all, you need to install a tool called Zebra Printer Setup Utilities. It is available on Play Store or iOS App Store. I have my TC57 here with the application installed. So let's run it. So at the moment, you can see that there's no printer paired with my TC57 here. So most of our Zebra printer fill in with the passive NFC chip, so as the mobile device. So if I tap and pair both device with the NFC chips, the device will actually scan and look for the printer within your network or within the Bluetooth range. Depends on your printer configuration. So my printer is connected to my wireless and so is my TC57. So we scan and find, find my printer here. So here's my printer. So there are a few uh, features available on this particular app. But what we're looking at today is security assessment. So go to printer action. Security assessment. Scan now. And you can see that there are a few interfaces you can scan Bluetooth, wired, wireless, and local, which is the cable connection. Since my, my printer is connected to wireless, let's click on wireless. And within seconds, you see the result from the scan. So there are 17 risks found on my printer, six are critical. So let me explain a bit on this particular report here. So the tiles in green represent that the settings on the printer met the uh, security recommended uh, settings. Yellows mean something that you might look, you might want to look into or take some action. Black means the settings not uh, relevant to this particular printer. Red means obviously is a critical. And there are six critical uh, red uh, tiles here in this particular printer. Let's take a look in more details. Let's go to real results. Let's go down to the red one. So first one is Bluetooth. Let's go into details. So it found that my Bluetooth is enabled, which is I'm not using, and it, it is recommend me to disable Bluetooth or turn off Bluetooth on this particular printer. This is for security measurement and if you're not using it, why you lift it on, right? So this is the command that you need to send to the printer in order to disable or turn off Bluetooth. Let's go back and just scroll a little bit further. So again, why Ethernet? If I'm not using it, disable this feature so it will make your printer more secure, and so on and so forth. So you can see that there there are a lot of uh, details in this. Uh, particular uh, uh, reports here and you can actually get a copy of this report send it up to your email so if you click on the get full report you can punch in your email address here and then click on submit it will generate an email and send it to you I have this I have this email um, send it to myself and this is how it looks like so with this email is actually attached the uh, report security uh, assessment report. So let's look at the report. So you can see from the uh, PDF document here, it actually tells me the model number of my uh, printer, the serial number of my printer, and also the firmware version running on my printer, which is a, a lot of details in there. And again, it explain what has met the recommended settings and what needs to be changed and what is recommended to disable or turn off. So how do we go about setting this command to the printer? There are two ways of doing it. It either connects to a USB cable, or you can put all the command in one file and then send it to the printer. Let me show you how. So this is the uh, command that I want to change or apply uh, to, this, to the printer in order to get my printer more secure. So this is the uh, command that said, for example, the first one is disable HTTP, so on and so forth. 
So with this, um, if I send this file to the printer, it will actually execute all the command. And what you need to do is save this particular file under .zpl extension. So when the printer sees the zpl .extension file, it will actually execute the script within the file. And you can see that the last command here I have is to perform a device reset, which is to um, reset the device. This is to make sure that the, all the script above has been executed. And the last action I want to do is to perform a reset. Let's go back to my device. Now, let's go back one more. Now you can see that my um, there's the there's the option here say available files. So I already copied the file to my device. So let's click on available file. And this is the file that I want to send to the printer. So I select the file. And now I click on send to printer. Actually send the file to the printer, which is the uh, script that I, I consolidated before. And now the printer applied the setting and now performing a reboot. Printers come back online now. Let's do a refresh on the device to discover the printer. Here is this. So let's go to printer actions again. Security assessment. Scan now. Select wireless again. Now you can see that there are a lot more green dots our green tiles compared to a previous scan we had before and only five risk found but at the moment because some of the settings are didn't change so it still found some of the uh, settings that need to be uh, updated but as you can see they already applied most of the settings so um they all turn green now which is which means that the printer is pretty secure at the moment i hope the session has been informative and easy to understand if you want to know more about Zebra printer security, please go to zebra.com slash print secure for more information. Thank you for watching.